Test, test. Welcome back to Swordman Josh Gaming, and I can't resist. Quarantine's getting me in a tizzy. Even though I cracked two of these already and two VIPs, this one just has this gorgeous sticker on it from Magnolia Gaming. Uh, I got one from uh, Magnolia Gaming, and uh, and here, as you can imagine from the title, is one box of double masters. After I open this box, I have two left for my sealed collection, but I can't resist. I'm going to try one more time. Um, there's just too many goodies in here, and uh, I really enjoy this set. If uh, this set, if this box doesn't pan out, I may do something weird. I may take all of these booster packs and put them back together, so I'm, I'm going to sort them a little weird. Because uh, I may turn this into a draft box uh, where we can draft it over and over and over again. Because I think Double Masters isn't is a going to be a fun draft environment. That being said, if we pull a Force of Will or a Mana Crypt, it comes out of said booster box. Um, but yeah, let's let's crack this. Hopefully, our box topper is okay. Looks like it is. All right. So I'll put a box topper here, get these out of here. Um, as the video also says, this is the last box of Double Masters that I'm going to open on this channel. But I am going to open it weird because I'm not going to sort them like I normally do in piles. I'm going to keep them together as a booster pack. But let's see what we get. We can hope, uh, literally I think what I'm looking for... Um, not a lot. Um, I think I have almost all the cards I want, or all the cards I need. So... And there's just so many good things in this set. Topple the Statue, Joyer's Familiar, Phyrexian Revoker, Kimba, a Foil Expedition Map, and a Foil Gorklay and Rampager. So, like I said, I'm going to keep this as a booster pack here. And I have enough sleeves where I could actually sleeve all, single sleeve all of these up and put them right back into a big card box that I have and turn this into a draft box. Fierce Empath, Executioner's Urza's Mine. Treasure Keeper, Invigorate, Trash for Treasure, Vishkal. There's the Mana Crypt. All right, so the Mana Crypt has to be pulled. So this booster pack, we could pull something else, but this is something I've been after for a long time, so that way it's the only card that I had a proxy of in my Teshar deck, and now I own it. So um, Thraben, Golem Skin, Gauntlets. So this pack gets to set up here, and we are going to put that Mana Crypt right there on top because it is, you guys can't see it if I put it there. Put it right here with a box topper. Mana Crypt. Uh, yeah. Um, as you guys know, I've been searching for one for a while. And the reason is for my Test Shard deck to make it completely pure at this point. So I, I, I'm I, pleased as punch. There's nothing else I can hope for except for, of course, a Force of Will. But you really need a place of that Oubliette Cogwork. Cro Crow Mox, this is an amazing box. Uh, Koldotha Forge Master, a Braid, Defiant Salvager. Which one's Crow Mox? Is Crow Mox the one? Yeah, it's the Exile. So, uh, yeah, three packs, two Mythics. That's pretty good, and both of them are good Mythics. Everflowing, Mine, Thraben, Master Slicer, Russ of Knowledge, Pile Wild, Flooded Grove, Hammer of Nizan, Apprentice Wizard, Bloodbriar. I can't believe I finally pulled a Mana Crypt. 
I'm flabbergasted. So this, I, at most I'll be drafting with three people, so I can lose a couple of booster packs and still have enough for a draft experience. Um, and Cranial Plating, Slesnia Guild Mage, Sunken Ruin, Heartbeat of Spring. Okay. Revoke Existence, Chief of the Foundry. Um, I can lose a couple of packs and still be able to make it uh, random enough that it doesn't matter. So, losing a, a package with a Mana Vault isn't the worst thing in the world. Bloodbriar, Bone Picker, Sift, Chromatic Star, Urza's Tower, Fortify, Oval Chase, Sandstone, Enlarge, Death Shadow. Then pull one out of the other two boxes. Blood Spore, Thrinax, Skin Brand Goblin, and a Surge Node. Elvish Aberration. Also, now that I own a Mana Crypt, um, I'm willing to play it in my Tashar deck and proxy it in other decks. I always want to own at least one copy of any card I proxy. Weapon Trainer, Koldrotha, Cogwork, Adaptive, Baleful Strix, Sift, and the Scavenger. And we're going to move these guys right up here in the stack that they came out of. Last pack of the first third. And we haven't hit another Mythic yet. Alex Executioner. Gosh, Electrocutioner. Jesus. Uh, Flame, Brainstorm, Spellbomb, Sanctum, Uvenwald, Vampire Hexmage. Dread Return. There's a Vexing Shusher. A Cyclonic Rift. Another great card. Kozilek Predator and Hinder. All right, going into the second third. Cyclonic Rift is always a great card. I open one in one of my other Double Masters boxes. So I have an, a rich, an OG one too. Get through the commons a little faster. Springleaf, Drown in Sorrow, Thirst for Knowledge, Fulminator Mage, Mazarik. Nothing, uh, no uh, foil rares or mythics yet. Sorry about that. Buried Ruin, Hidden Stockpile, Galvanic Blast, Liege of the Tangled, Skirts Dag High priest sphinx summoner and topple the statue so the foil rares and mythics are still oot in a boot but thank you to magnolia gaming for selling me this box obviously i am uh pongify oganata yavamaya blood moon obviously i'm very happy with that mana crypt a uh, vine so there's a third mythic. Sanctum Spirit, Pyrite Spellbomb. Um, okay. I can see Vingevine being played in a four of, or a three of, in a reanimator style deck. Tumble Magnet. Sphinx's Summoner. Ravenous Intruder, Gorklain Rampager, Savage Born Hydra. Wouldn't be complete without a Hydra. Leonin Abunas, Relic Runner, Whisper of the Wild. So we are still hunting for any foil rares and mythics. Wouldn't it be nice if I pulled a foil mana crypt on top of it? My Teshar deck, I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about my Tashar deck, but it is now over 50% foiled, so I'm trying to foil the entire thing out. It's my baby. Throne of Geth, Skull Mulcher, good old Path to Exile, High Market, Glimmer Void, wow, two, land ba two lands, Uvenwald Mystery, and Reshape. So 
So we have three mythics so far in the box, and uh, two of them are outstanding. We need some swords, though. How about a sword of feast and famine? Arox Salvager, Bomberman combo, Fatal Push, Chief of the Foundry, Wound Reflection, not bad, Geist of Saint Taft, who cares, Angel of the Dawn, and another Foil Skull Mulcher. Bloodshot Trainee, Flicker Wisp, Death Reap Ritual, Time Sev, Sieve, Lux Cannon, A Foil Urza's Mine, A Skin Wing. Out of two boxes, I did not quite pull a full foil set of all of the Urza's. I think I pulled two or three of each. Gelatinous Genesis, Mishra's Factory, Valorious Stance, Ensnaring Bridge, there's our next mythic. Hana, Ship's Navigator, Teamer Battle Rage, and Twisted Abomination. So, there's the second third. And let's go for the last third. So, our foil rares and mythics have to be in this last third of this box. Welding Jar, Disip Disciple of the Vault, Glass Dust Hulk, Wooded Bastion, Magus of the Will, Icker Wellspring, Foil, Flicker Wisp Foil. Hopefully we uh, get a Foil Rare Mythic at this point. Veteran Explorer, Woodland Champion, your unlicensed degenerates, Sins Triplets. Already got one of those. Amir Battlesphere. Remember the Fallen? There's rare number one with a Basilisk Collar Foil. Put that on a Goblin Sharpshooter and go to town in a Commander game. That's here. Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. Thopter Foundry. Pentad Prism. Mana Reflections. It's good rare. Sharum the Hegemon. Foil Cast Down. Foil Iron League Steed. Hopefully we have another foil within these next couple of packs. Fencing Ace, Dark Steel Citadel, Mirror Smith, Open the Vaults, Sword of Body and Mind. Not one of the best swords, but a whole lot better than some of the others. What? Third Sword, Goblin Gavalier, and a Foil Urza's Power Plant. I like that Elf Warrior token. I like it a lot. I might have to change that Elf Warrior token out in my Morrowind budget deck. Sphinx of the Guild Pack, Valor in Acroas. Another Path to Exile. Awakening Zone, good commander card. Rolling Earthquake. Volshock's Gauntlets. And a thirst for knowledge. Three packs left, and then the box toppers. And I'm going through this box a whole lot faster than some of the, the uh, first two. Manamorphose, great uncommon. Banshee, the clone shell. 
A Pure Steel Paladin, Voice of Resurgence, Ancestral Blade, and Divest. I figured we'd get at least, with it being double masters, we'd get two foil rares or mythics in every box, guaranteed. What's up with the foil pull rate here? Culling Dias, Arak Bomberman, Glorious Stance, Twilight Mire, Avenger of Zendikar. Uh, with Zendikar Rising coming back, I'm curious what's going to happen with this guy. Boldovian Rage and Elvish Aberration Foil. Last pack, and then we get to the box toppers. Riddlesmith, Brimstone Volley, Golem Artisan, Salvage Titan, Blade Splicer, Cloud Reader Sphinx, Last Chance for a Foil Rare or Mythic, Crop Rot. Alright, so hopefully, being since we only got that, we got something amazing in here. And card number one is, do this one first, Urge's Mine, Wah Wah, and Bob, we got a Dark Confidant. So if you liked what you saw, I love this Mana Crypt, so there's our Bob and our Mana Crypt. Um, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe.